Hello, and welcome to another Kids Connect video, where you can learn all about the amazing world around you, with fun and educational facts and worksheets. If you've ever wondered how the body works, and communicates, the answer lies in the body's endocrine system. And no means within. And crime means secrete. Here's a question to think about while you watch. Do males have estrogen, and females have testosterone? Watch until the end for the answer. The body is made up of billions of cells, which form tissues, organs, and systems. These all need to communicate, to function properly. They do this through a feedback mechanism, using chemical signals called hormones, that are managed via the endocrine system. You probably heard the word hormones before, especially related to puberty. But there are over 50 hormones in your body, that are produced in different parts. Let's take a closer look. First off, where do hormones come from? Hormones are produced in endocrine glands. For example, insulin is a hormone that regulates your blood sugar. It's made in a gland called the pancreas. Adrenaline is a hormone that triggers our flight or fight response. It is produced in the adrenal glands that sit above the kidneys. How do hormones work? Before they enter the bloodstream, hormones are regulated by two parts of the body. The first is the hypothalamus. This is a small region at the base of the brain, that acts as a control center for hormone regulation. It monitors hormone levels, and produces releasing hormones, or inhibiting hormones. These hormones travel to the pituitary gland, which sits below the hypothalamus. The pituitary gland is about the size of a pea, but it's really important. It's considered the master gland of the body. It determines whether specific glands need to be stimulated, or inhibited, to affect hormone levels. It also produces growth hormone. When endocrine glands receive signals from the pituitary gland, they release hormones into the bloodstream. For example, after eating, the pituitary gland will signal to the pancreas, to release insulin to help control the increase in glucose entering the bloodstream. Once a hormone is in the bloodstream, it travels throughout the body, until it reaches its target cells, or organs. Hormones then act like a lock and key. Receptors on the target cells recognize and bind to specific hormones. Once attached, the hormone triggers chemical reactions in the cell, and causes a specific response or change in the cell's behavior. Now that we know how hormones work, what do hormones do in the body? The effects of hormones are wide-ranging and diverse. They can influence growth, development, metabolism, reproduction, mood, and many bodily functions. Let's take a closer look. The pineal gland. This is a tiny structure in the brain, that produces the sleep hormone, melatonin. It assists your body clock and what makes you feel sleepy. The thyroid gland. This gland sits on your throat. It looks a little like a butterfly. It produces the hormones thyroxine and triadothyronine, which regulate the speed of your metabolism, as well as growth. If your thyroid gland is overactive, you develop a condition called hyperthyroidism. If your thyroid is underactive, you develop a condition called hypothyroidism. The parathyroid gland. This is a tiny gland about the size of a grain of rice. It sits on top of the thyroid gland and regulates calcium. Calcium does more than make strong bones. It is necessary for the proper functioning of your heart, kidneys, bones, and nerves. The thymus gland. This gland sits behind your sternum and your chest. This gland stimulates white blood cells called T lymphocytes. These fight illness, and the thymus is essential for developing a child's immune system. It's big when you're a child, and slowly shrinks as you get older. The pancreas. This gland is important for the digestive system. It produces enzymes that help break down carbohydrates, fats, and proteins. It also produces two hormones called insulin, and glucagon. Insulin signals the body to take excess sugar out of the blood, and store it. Glucagon signals the body to release stored sugar into the blood, when the levels are too low. If your pancreas has trouble producing insulin, you can develop a condition called diabetes. The adrenal glands. These pyramid-shaped glands sit above each kidney. They produce adrenaline, which regulates stress levels, and is used in the fight or flight response. The adrenals also make corticosteroids. They influence your metabolism. Pulse rate. Oxygen consumption. Blood flow and sexual function. The reproductive glands. In females, the ovaries are almond-sized structures that produce estrogen and progesterone. These hormones cause the development of breast tissue during puberty, regulate the menstrual cycle, and support pregnancy. 
In males, the testicles produce testosterone, which results in increased facial and body hair, deepening of the voice, and increased muscle mass. During puberty, it also signals the testes to produce sperm for reproduction. And now for the answer you've been waiting for. Yes. Naturally, men have small amounts of estrogen, and women have small amounts of testosterone. These sex hormones are not just needed for reproduction, but play a role in bone and heart health, muscle mass and strength, mood, and cognitive function. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this lesson, visit Kids Connect for fun worksheets on many more body parts and systems. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to be the first to know about new content. See you in the next video.